The reason why I chose to do a PhD was first of all just intellectual curiosity. I suppose it's what Richard Feynman calls the pleasure of finding things out. So never in my mind was there a question that one shouldn't do a PhD. I know it's different for different people. It seemed to me a logical uh, extension of my growing interest in academics. It does give you um, something which distinguishes you in terms of a consulting environment. If you start off as an undergraduate student, you start off initially by writing a lot of tests and exams. But as you progress and you become a more senior student, tests and exams become less important and you start to write more research related pieces, initially essays, later on mini dissertations. And I remember experiencing in each of these essays the feeling that if only I had the opportunity I could do a much bigger piece of work. Doing a PhD really offers an opportunity for me to learn and to master uh, skills that I feel are quite key and skills that will allow me uh, to actively and meaningfully contribute uh, to some of the key debates um, that are necessary in moving the country forward. My name is Michael Jordan. I'm the CEO of Montegre Capital, which is a small venture capital firm based in Stellenbosch. I've always loved economics. Um, some people will call it the dismal science in the sense that it's not a pure science like let's say physics or mathematics, but I think it's the best approximation that we have of how people behave in different type of systems. And economics is a, is a science in which we try to understand how the world works. This whole new way of thinking about things, the new way of sort of problem solving. Economics for me um, is about people. It's about how people, all kinds of people, go about um, choosing what to do with their lives, what to do for a living, how to solve their own um, basic need problems. And for me, that is fascinating. It is a field which is so diverse. It is a field where you can really use your problem solving skills. Um, I started out doing a BCom maths degree, um, but economics, to me contains all the various elements of problem solving, logical thinking, real world problems. So in a sense, it is a philosophy about life, it's a philosophy of behaviour, it is rich in history uh, and it allows for a lot of liberal and free thought. The economics department here at Selimbosch uh, is really uh, a grouping of good-hearted individuals uh, who have an aim of making uh, a difference in the country and in the continent with good research and students uh, are absorbed into that culture of uh, doing research that is relevant uh, to the current problems faced by our society. You learn an enormous amount of self-discipline, learning how to manage your own time, how to interact with other people and how to communicate what has now become your expertise through the PhD process to other people and to make that useful not only to yourself but also to, in our case, to the broader economy. What draws me to Stellenbosch is first of all that it's beautiful, that it's filled by very interesting and friendly people. It's got beautiful architecture, grey and blue mountains, uh, green countryside. I've travelled far and wide across the world, but I have to say that Stellenbosch is, I think, one of the most beautiful, friendly towns in which to live and also to do business. You're entering the most successful PhD environment in the country. And then within the university, the economics department, is a notably successful academic department with respect to PhDs. They graduate a large number of PhDs. They certainly graduate the largest number of PhDs in the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences. And it's not just the number that counts, it's that they graduate very high quality PhDs. In the last couple of years, five or six years, more than half of the, of the annual 
prize winners for the best PhD in economics in the country have been from the economics department at Stellenbosch. So it's not just that they have a large number of successful students, it's that these students are helped and supported to, to write excellent PhDs that are recognized as some of the best work in the country and very often the best work in the country.